Oh. Now, before I allow Mick to, uh, to say a few words, we have to do some of the official stuff, so. This is the most important. The four letters are more important than my name. We got everybody? Thanks for coming. <laughs> First of all, uh, I want to thank the committee. Uh, obviously, Dan, Josh Rebholtz, Chris Carlson, the guys I had a chance to meet with, Bob Myers, who I got a chance to speak with on the telephone. Thanks for being here. I know you're a little bit busy. Um, and uh, obviously, Chancellor Block is a uh, what a world-class person, having a chance to speak with him. Uh, I believe it was, I lost track of what day it is, guys. I think it was Monday. <laughs> uh, you know, to, to be named the head basketball coach, not only at John Wooden's program in UCLA, but to be named the head basketball coach at the world's foremost number one public institution is an unbelievable, incredible, honor for me. So it, I'm overwhelmed a little bit, but, but trust me, I'm prepared. Uh, so what I would tell you when, when, when we spoke and we shared a vision, you know, a guy like myself, when you're running a program uh, and you're having success, but every night when you're sitting up and you're watching the Bruins play and you're saying to yourself, what if I ever got that opportunity? And you think about those things. And you'll learn this from me, I'm extremely honest. So, and I try to be very candid. That's reality for me. So, this goes way back. Whether it was Coach Herrick, Coach Howland, Coach Lavin or Coach Alford. I'm sitting there as a young coach and I'm watching. And I'm saying, what would, oh, this went on for years. So when we met, I felt like I was really prepared because I would laid in bed and watched the Bruins play many times. What if I ever could get the opportunity to coach at the elite program in America with 11 national championships? How would I handle it? What would I do? Uh, how do you have success? What would your vision be? What could you do there that you can't do at other places? Well, the answer is a lot. So when, as, we, as we had a chance to meet uh, national championships, having the best players, graduating elite student athletes, all the above is at your fingertips here. And what I tried to convey to Dan uh, and, and the committee was that I understand it's a tremendous challenge, tremendous challenge, but it's also a great opportunity. And there's one that I was not going to pass up because I came from a situation Obviously, where I was at home, <coughs> we had great success. But I had a chance to be the coach at UCLA. Let's be honest. A chance to be the coach where, where John Wooden coached. This is not a hard decision. Not, not, when, not when you're Irish and you're a little bold and you're not afraid. <laughs> You've got to embrace it. You only live once. And what an opportunity for myself uh, my family, who's here today, I'd like to introduce some people real quick. My father, Hep Cronin. <laughs> you got, so much is made, there's, a lot, there's stuff being made of my intensity, my passion, my toughness, but I, I assure you, it's all, it, it, I'm not even the boss in my own house, my daughter, Samantha. <laughs> stand up, stand up for the rest. You will. She's almost taller than me. She's 12. <laughs> uh, 
I had to get I had to get the sign off. Okay, I planned this. We've been coming on vacation to California since she was a child. So, so she was a little girl. So, it, 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 this was not a hard sell. And I'll tell you a funny story. About four years ago, we spent a week in Santa Monica, and we hit all and we hit all the theme parks and all the stuff. And I kept driving her by campus. This is the best school in the world. This is the best school in the world. You, you know, so that, that's a true story. And then finally, after about five days, she goes, we don't have to ever go home, do we? <laughs> and we're driving back down to Santa Monica, and, and, and she says, you know, Dad, they got a high school. And it was Santa Monica High School. She's like, hey, yeah, they do. <laughs> so it's, it's so ironic. My longtime girlfriend, Christine, is here uh, with me as well. Uh, my brother, Dan, couldn't make it today. My, my, my sister, uh, Kelly, uh, who could have, was the one person in our family who could have gotten into school here. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she just got named principal at the number one elite high school in Cincinnati. Uh, so, yeah, how did I become a basketball coach, right? Uh, so anyway, there's a lot of people that I love, a lot of people I need to thank. Uh, but uh, I want to say this. Was, we talk about, okay, well, you know, what, what's, what's really going on, okay? My, so my, my message is... Real simple, okay? I'm a player's coach. Now, you may say, well, you're hard on players. Well, I spell love. I just met with the team. And I said, look, I don't have a lot of time right now. We talked for about 30 minutes or so. And you're going to leave. Right now, I got a short time. So you're going to leave here. You got to know one thing. I'm honest. Uh, and I told them, guys, I need them. Right now, I really need you because I just came off. Yesterday was the toughest day of my life professionally, telling the team that you love you're leaving. Never thought I'd have that meeting. To be honest with you, I never thought that day would come, that I'd ever have to have that meeting. So that was a really hard day, so I need the guys. I told them I need them right now. I need to spend a lot of time with them. Uh, but they, I want them to leave the meeting knowing one thing. Hey, I don't know about this guy. He may not play me, may not let me shoot enough, but you're going to know this, okay? I, he, he's, he's obviously honest, okay? And I spell love and discipline the same way. And I think... Uh, you know, whether it's being a father, you got to spend time with people if you love them. And if you spend time with people, you know who they are, they know what you're about, and they know you're about helping them become better men as a basketball coach. And if you're doing that, it's easy to coach because the kids know you love them. So people say, what's important? Got to hire the best staff in the country, okay? And that starts when we get out of here. And obviously, I've, you know, I'm sure you guys have questions. I have many, you know, it's not like I don't have thoughts, ideas, and some things um, that are going on with that. Then I have to have, make sure that I develop and communicate with the players we have, because they're now my players, as we talked about in the meeting. There is no, he, he played, you know, he's going to bring in his guys, you know, all the stuff that go, they're, they're now my guys. And... Like, whether I, as I told Chris Wilkes, you may, I never, you may never play a day for me, okay, but I want you to think of me as your coach because you play, you, you play at UCLA, you played at UCLA. Anything I can do to help you. That is my job. First and foremost is to be there for young people. That's the beauty of being a college coach, Bob. <laughs> That's what being a college coach is. It, to me, my father is a high school coach. If, you are, if it's all about the players, it's not all business. It's my job to teach them that their adult life will be about business. But it's my job to be there for them and to be their guardian, their protector, their coach, their mentor. And that's what I'm about. The winning stuff takes care of itself. If you build the right culture, you get the great staff, then obviously recruiting is paramount, which becomes a little easier when you put four letters on your chest. So I, 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 want, I want to make sure everybody understands how appreciative I am of this opportunity, um, how excited I am to be here. I feel like I've prepared for this day a long time. Hopefully that there's, uh, as, in my business, you, you always want, you, you don't want to be too well liked. That means you're losing. <laughs> you know, I told our team today, our goal is nobody wants to play us. Nobody, you can never be easily defeated. And Dan knows I have to, you got young people don't like to ask questions. I made them ask me some questions. 
and you know, they're obviously style of play. This is here's here's how I spell fun: W I N. Okay, and offense, defense, win. And figure out how we have to win, and it starts with that first meeting. It starts with our first session of workouts, and you build from there. Because culture is everything, on the floor, off the floor, who we are, what we're about. Because whether you're, you're a one-year player or a four-year player, we talked about this a lot. And this was important to Dan and the committee that, that they knew that I felt this way. You represent the school you play for. And if you get the chance to put the four letters on, okay, you owe. You, you, don't, get, you, you don't get to shoplift the four letters, okay? Because the four letters, as we know, they do a lot for your life, okay? And you have to pay back by the way you conduct yourself as a person, as a student, and by playing to win. And that is my message to the guys. And when you do that, you make yourself attractive to a guy like Bob Myers. Because people want to win. People want success. People want people they can count on. And you have a chance to brand yourself for however long you, that you are here. So our brand will be representing the UCLA brand at the highest level, academically, in the community, Obviously, in the classroom, it, like I said, but on the court, win. Win. How do you win? You play together. Which brings me to my final part of the opening statement is together is everything. As I sit here looking around and I see people that I never thought I'd get a chance to meet <laughs> uh, in my life, uh, you, you, the power of together is magnified, obviously, if you're at UCLA, where you have 11 national championships, the greatest, most revered college coach of all time, and you walk into the Hall of Fame, and it's overwhelming how many Hall of Famers, former greats, supporters, people that have called, offered support, and our, the power of together here is going to be a lot stronger than the power together of a lot of places. And uniting for the cause of what's best for the school. And my job is to engage all of you, all of our former players. I can't wait to meet gentlemen like Jamal Wilkes, you know, the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Walton, and I, you know, there's too many people to name. Um, but what an opportunity for me to get to know these people convey my message to them, ways they could help uh, engage in our players. We can all be one to help the Bruins and get us back to where people say UCLA and they don't write articles for saying they're not elite because UCLA is elite, has always been elite. And we need to be elite on the court. And obviously I believe that we're going to do that and that's why I'm here. And I appreciate everybody being here today.